Happy New Year! It's January 6, 2021. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop, and we have a lot of cross stitch to bring you. I've really missed you guys and stitching with you guys, and I wanted to let you know that yesterday we launched a new series called Stitchy Talk with Kimberly. It's going to be on the first Tuesday of every month, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, thanks for all your comments. We're going to launch 2021 with a brand new sew along. We're going to be calling it the Be Mine and it's going to start in February. But I want to show you today two of the brand new items that we're going to be releasing and then I'm going to be stitching with you in February. And these were just released just now. So they're super exciting. I think you're going to love them. We spent a lot of time behind the scenes working on these and so we hope you love them as much as we do. So the first one is called Just My Type. And we've got a pattern. And the pattern is a full color pattern and it's available as a paper. We have a DMC thread pack. So you can do DMC or we added color and cotton this time, which we haven't done a thread pack before, so that's super exciting. So you can stitch it in either pack, and I'm gonna show you the sample in a little bit on what we did, and I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do. Now to go with this Be Mine stitch along, we're gonna have this free calendar, and the free calendar can be downloaded from our website, and that way you can write in what you're gonna stitch and have your plans. And next week, I will be releasing my entire plan for the Be Mine Stitch Along. Today, I'm just showing you two of our new releases, and we'll show you this filled out next week. But if you want this, this might help you with your planning. We have our very first set of limited edition line keepers to go with just my type. Ooh. Now, when we do these, they're gonna be a one-time release and limited edition, and once they sell out, we're not gonna have them remade and they're only gonna be available at Fat Quarter Shop. So we've got that. And then this is what I'm the most excited about. We have floss biddies that are also limited edition. One time run, once we run out, we run out. And we have a brand new needle minder. It's called Just My Type and it's a little love stamp. And then this is so cute. This is an enamel charm. And you're going to see just what that's for. And these two items will go with the next item also. So that can be put on this brand new bag that we have. So cute. Yeah, it's so awesome. So this bag is actually double-sided. So it's got a heart on one side and a heart on the other. And I'm going to do something super fun with this um, next week to show you. And it will sit up also. So, and this matches both projects. So now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna put everything in the bag that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm going to be stitching on 14 count graceful gray. I forgot my chart, it's in the, sorry. I'm stitching on graceful gray 14 count by Witchell. And so this is what I'm gonna stitch on. This is also what the sample was stitched on. It's a tiny bit of a light gray. I'm gonna stitch with these two items. And what I've done already, well actually, I'm gonna put this on my little bag. And we made sure when we made these enamel charms that this little opening is really big because sometimes when you buy charms, they're too small to put on your zippers so any brand of zipper you have will work with this one i'm gonna put my needle minder on my fabric and i like the size of this one it's not too big it's not too small and with my line keepers what i'm going to go ahead and do is i go ahead and take them off oh it's raining it's raining here. I go ahead and just peel those off and put them on my pattern. And I'll just put one here 
and that way when I get to my pattern I already know where it is I haven't lost it it's all kind of there so I'm gonna put that in now I'm not gonna use DMC what I'm going to be using is color and cotton so I'm gonna show you I went ahead and put everything on that one's upside down this is an extra but what I'm doing is <laughs> that one's upside down is I just put the the tag I guess you'd call that a tag from color and cotton, mm -hmm. like a, and some of them are upside down, just ignore, <laughs> it's fine. So these are the colors, and so I basically, this is the color, but when you turn it over, the cuteness is on the other side. Oh. And of course, some are upside down, just ignore that I did that, because I was in a hurry. And so it'll be so cute. That's adorable. Thanks. So I'm gonna, and these obviously go with both designs, this one and the next one I'm gonna show you. And if you are going to use DMC, you can do this. You can just you can just put on the pretty side. You can put the little DMC labels that you can buy. Or I'm going to show you in a little bit something that I did with the label maker that I have that will save you money if you want to do that. So that's how everything looks. So cute. And I have everything written in my book. So let's see, stitches from the heart, number three. So I have everything here. Oops, wrong one, just my type. So I've got, I'm using 14 count graceful gray, I'm using color and cart cotton, and I'm gonna keep track of it. And during the Be Mine stitch along, I'm going to be doing it in four parts, and that way I can keep track of my time easier. So let me know, guys, what questions you have on the just my type, and I will, um, answer them. I'm also going to have Lily zoom in on the piece that Cheryl made. Okay. So Cheryl made the sample. And she made the sample using color and cotton thread on graceful gray 14 count by Witchell. The SKU number is 357-320A. So Cheryl stitched the piece. Priscilla finished the piece with a frame from Hobby Lobby. The number of the frame is 1792233. And she also added that gray fabric is a Priscilla's pretty plaid. And the red is Lori's red vintage trim, Riley red vintage trim in the large size. And then the bow is just, you know, a bow. It's a Priscilla bow. So now it's super easy. I have everything in here ready to go and I'm going to take this and I'm going to use some of the color and cotton thread that's in there and I'm going to stitch something on the bag so that you can see it next week because you can stitch on these bags. Question from Kelsey Kennedy. Would you say that the Be Mine Sew Along and the Lori Holt Stitch Along are beginner friendly? Yes. Question from Lori Roth. How do you take the ultra stiffness out of the Ada cloth? As you use it, it'll kind of soften up, but Ada cloth, uh, tin, there are some that are stiff and some that are soft. I prefer stiff. I like Witchell. If you want something softer, Picture This Plus is the softest. And um, there's the company, I'm trying to think of the name, the one that does screen print. Fabric Flare is medium. So if you want something softer, Witchell would be the, the hardest. Something you buy at like Joann's or Hobby Lobby would be the hardest. I prefer that. Um, but if you want something softer, get Picture This Plus, something that's hand dyed or fabric flare. A few people are wondering, is this the next stitch quarterly? No, 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 no. It's its own thing. Yeah, so that's its, yeah, that's what Lily said. It's its own thing, and we can talk about that in a future live stream. We have all four designs finalized for this year, and we can tell you now the names of those four designs, and we'll do that in a future live stream. That program is sold out, and as we get, um, as we get more spots, we add it. And from Gigi Odom, when will Priscilla's new Be Mine pattern be in stock? 
Okay, so that one was shipping from her yesterday. So it shipped from her Monday or yesterday. I can't remember which. And as soon as we get it, we put it online same day. From Natalia Ken, hang on, Nezinski. How does it, how long does it take to stitch just my type? It is a lovely design. I am in love. Probably, it'll probably take 20 or 30 hours. Maybe more. It's a lot of stitching, you know. It's mm -hmm. a lot of, one thing that you can do is, like, when you do the bird, you could out, okay, let me do this. Can you zoom in? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to do it with my... No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'll show you, and I'll show you how I would do this, or how I am going to do this. Thanks, Lily. Yeah. So, when I do this, I'll talk about it more next week, but when you do this to save time, you could, um, for example, if you're doing the bird, you can outline the outline of the wing, and then fill it in. And then you can do the outline of the bird, add the eye, and then fill it in. You could do the outline of the heart, fill it in. Outline of the heart, fill it in. Outline of, you know, that's what I mean. It's like you can do the outline of things and just fill in. And one thing that's helpful for something like this, especially, so like if you had this, you could outline this and just fill it in. And one thing you can do is if you know that you're gonna be somewhere where you might be distracted, you could do all of your outlines and then if you're gonna watch a TV show or something or you know, have a conversation with someone or you know, you're gonna be at a dance convention and you don't wanna have to have the pattern in front of you, you just wanna fill in, you can have it all set up to go. So, um, and on this one, I think what I'm gonna do, this one makes me a tiny bit nervous just because I've never stitched something that's like this. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of do the, the first part I'll do is this, mm. but before I fill in everything, I'm gonna go and do the pink outline and make sure I form a complete heart mm -hmm. before I fill in because I do not wanna have to rip anything out. And there's just a lot of, um, so just, you know, and then I might even, when I do it, I might do just the pink and half stitches. You know, just kind of get the outline going. Make sure I've got a good set. Um, kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but like I've got it all in the right spot. So that will, so it is going to take a lot of time because there is a, it is heavy stitching. But if you do that outline, and fill in, you're gonna save hours. And thank you to Priscilla for finishing that for us. From Marianne Lucas, is color and cotton 100% cotton thread? Yes. And from Angela Stoudinger, how does color and cotton compare to DMC? It is hand dyed, so it would be something that would be similar to Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Arts, and Classic Color Works. It is um, a base thread that is dyed over, so it gives an over dyed look. So when you're looking at the bird, you can see that it's like blue and then there's parts of it that are green. And like you can see, okay, zoom in right here, Lily. This red and white, I mean this re red, it's really red and then light red and dark red. And you can see that when Cheryl stitches, she stitches one X at a time and she does um she does the correct way where one stitch at a time keeping the two threads together and you really get a variegated look and the one difference that denise just pointed out to me is classic is that color and cotton is comes with eight yards instead of five mm -hmm. whereas the other hand dyes are five yards so you get more for your money at the same price all right, and me doing this is going to be my first time using it, so I'm excited. Yeah, you answered two more questions we had, so that okay. was good. And the 614 Stitcher says, Kimberly looks great in red. Thank you. Yes, she does. And I put a little pink bow in. Yeah, matching the pattern. That's so cool. Margaret Haglund said, what are the dates of Just My Type? 
we're we're gonna talk about it next week but it's gonna be the be mine stitch along and it's gonna be the entire month of february and you can set your own schedule and put it on your free calendar and i'll show you what mine is gonna look like because we'll fill it in but you set your own schedule and you sew along and we're just doing it in february and the reason why i'm not doing my valentine's this year in january instead of february is i don't finish all my items myself meaning finish this way so priscilla's going to finish them so i'll just stitch them this year send them to priscilla she has a whole year to finish them and then get them back to me and i can display them next year and a lot of Valentine's is coming out right now. And so I'm not going to rush myself in January. And plus, I think like on Valentine's Day, just doing February stitching in February will be kind of, it's not traditionally what most people do, but it works for me. And it also makes it like very, I feel like you're going to be more into it in February than January. Because right now I feel like people are still on snowmen. Yeah. It's Lily wants some snow. I don't want any snow. Oh, yeah, we have a snowman coming up. Lily yeah. just told me. Yes. Um, from Crafting Upon Life, do you only use one thread and loop, or do you use two threads and bury the ends? So when I stitch, I 100% of the time do the loop method, even with hand-dyed floss. If you watch yesterday's video called Stitchy Talk with Kimberly, I show you what I do. Now, that is not what you're supposed to do, but it's the quickest. And to me, having all this variegation... It's great, it's beautiful. Cheryl's work looks way better than mine. But in my house, nobody cares and nobody knows. And um, anybody who visits my house has no idea that I did it the wrong way and that Cheryl did hers the right way. And um, I just, anything to go faster is what I do. And I really like, also, I like the back to be neat and not have a lot of um, thread I don't know I like it to be neat and it's easier and I can go quicker instead of covering up those previous stitches I can just start okay so that's our first item and that was called just my, just type. my type sorry just my type so now we're gonna move to stitches from the heart this one is a fruit pattern Ooh. so you can download this from our website. It is just called Stitches from the Heart. It's a completely free PDF. And we list threads for DMC or Silk NPI. And I'm gonna stitch with Silk NPI. I'm gonna show you what we have. So we have a thread pack that is DMC. And I apologize, it's pouring down rain here. And I'm so excited because now my allergies will clear up a little bit. And this is the NPI thread. This is 100% silk. And I'm gonna, this one was stitched on this sample, which I can show you, was stitched using DMC thread on antique white 14 count witchell the SKU number is 357101. Denise stitched the sample for us. We finished it into a pillow, and Lily released this video yesterday on how to do it. It is called How to Make a Rick Rack Cross Stitch Pillow, and it uses the Cloud Large Vintage Trim by Lori Holt, and the fabric is an Aditta Sitar fabric, and we used a charm pack, and everything's in that video. And we did do an envelope back, but everything you need to know is in the video. Now, so this is our sample that Denise made. What I'm going to do, oh, and one of the reasons that Denise and I decided to do the silk on this is for silk, it's very expensive. And so we wanted to find a pattern that didn't use too many skeins so that if you wanted to try silk, the pack wouldn't have 50 skews or 30 or 20 skews it would just have a few so if it's something that you're interested in that you wanted you know maybe to try it's a we found something that was affordable so download the free pattern and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do i'm going to take this bag and i've already put on the charm and the needle minder 
I'm gonna have a second bag. I'm gonna put my pattern in. I am stitching on antique white 14 count, which is the same exact thing that um, Denise stitched on. And we've already zigzagged the edges and cut it down so it's easy. And this is what I did to, for my floss. And I'm gonna show you what I did. And another thing is on this one, when I finish it, I will send it to Priscilla to finish so that you get two finishing ideas. You get Denise's finishing idea, which is a pillow and sewing, because we really want to integrate sewing with um, cross stitch. And then I will send my sample to Priscilla and she'll finish it on something from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. So you can decide which one you like to use better. Now this is my first time ever using NPI silk, just like my first time using color and cotton, so I can give you a review after I start. And the Stitchy Talk for February will be the first February, the first Tuesday in February, and I will be stitching this with you guys live. And that is February 2nd, which is right after my wedding anniversary. What? Yes. So what I did on this, I wanted to see the cuteness, but I wanted to have the number and I didn't want it to get confused with my DMC. So I have a label maker. It is just a brother label maker, very simple. You can get it anywhere. And I just put NPI and the number and used scissors, trimmed it down and just put it on here. And that way it looks cute. And I can have, I can just use this system when I store my NPI silk that I do use because anytime I use my thread, I use my leftovers and kind of keep all the brands together. So that one is free. And of course, if you want to do, um, you don't have to use our floss. You can use any floss you want. So I can envision people taking this and doing a purple heart or a blue heart or green heart or red all red or all pink or any color you just need eight eight threads and so we kind of did two lights two mediums two darks and two kind of two pinks that are light two pinks that are medium two pinks that are dark and a light red and a dark red for pop so you just need eight different and honestly if you just picked eight random shades of a color and put it on there, I think it'll look fine. So that is our second item. And because we released two new Valentine patterns, we're gonna host a, the new event. It's called the Be Mine Stitch Along. I have actually planned my Be, Be Mine Stitch Along. You obviously saw my first two. And next week, I'm gonna show you all of my projects or talk about all of my projects. I will be incorporating a lot of the things that I'm showing you that I'm already working on, just like I do with um, Mania and things like that. And I will be working with different designers, different stuff, so it's not just our stuff. You're gonna get a big mix and you're gonna get a big mix of all the other things that I'm doing throughout the year. And um, one of our segments in a little bit is gonna be talking about all of the things that we have planned for the entire year, kind of like when we did Parade of Homes last year, this year we've got a whole plan for things. Right. Question from Deborah DeBerry. Would the threads be more likely to bleed than DMC? I don't know. Never used it. And I will give you an honest answer once I use it. I haven't started. I'm going to actually start on camera with you guys on February 2nd. And one thing that I am going to show you on camera is carding that silk was a little bit tricky it took me a while to get a hang of it um, because it's so long and it's silk is very twisty i found and um it was a little bit tricky getting this getting that unwound and onto those cards so i saved one skein to do live so that i could show you what i did and how difficult it was because i actually did it at my desk at home, which has zero room. It just has a keyboard and no room. And I really should have done it something like this or at a kitchen table where I have a lot of room to spread it out would have been really helpful. 
And from Hillary Griffin, when you store your leftover floss, do you leave them on the current biddy tag or transfer them to a different storage system? I leave them on the biddy tag. If I have them on a floss flower, I leave them on a floss flower. If I have them on a floss biddy, I store them on a floss biddy. Denise and I are going to be doing a segment on storage, and I'm going to be showing you um, what, how we store thread here, how we store thread at my house, how we store thread at Lori's house, how we store thread at Priscilla's ha house. And um, we are also gonna show, I have some big jars and how you can, different ways that you can store and it looks good with all the different, um, different kinds. And Marsha Freeman said, can you update on the schedule for additional broadcasts, please? I noticed Kimberly is on more often. Thank you. So we're gonna do every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Central Time, throughout the entire year. We will be doing uh, finishing videos throughout the year that we just sprinkle here and there. They're not gonna be on a certain day. And the first Tuesday of every month, we're gonna do Stitchy Talk with Kimberly, where we take something that I'm already stitching and I stitch on camera because I'm gonna be stitching anyway. Why not just do it on camera and then answer questions? And we do get a lot of the same questions that are hard for me to answer on this segment. And doing it on that segment is really nice because it's what I really do and you can just refer to it and see does that method work for you or does it not. Deborah DeBerry said, what about color and cotton threads bleeding? No idea. I haven't used them. I've never really had any thread bleed though, ever. Um, yeah, you know, I don't, oh, Denise is saying this. Okay, so I don't wash my fabric when I'm done. I don't wash my projects. So I just, and and um, Cheryl doesn't either. So we just, when we're done stitching, we just finish them. We don't wash them. So we don't worry about it bleeding when we wash it. Now, some um, hand-dyed floss or fancy floss, as Chelsea calls it, is color fast and some is not. And if you look on our website, it does list which ones are and which ones are not, and I um, would, I personally, on any of them, would not wash them. And we had a super chat from Dr. Goose Design, Denise, for $50.21, and Dr. Goose Design says, happy 2021 from me and Miss Gracie. Thank Love you. Love ya. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. So generous. Okay. So that was our Be Mind Stitch Along. Stay tuned next week for more information on that. My next item I'm gonna show you is Sew By Row. So that is going to be the Sew Along that starts now, actually today. So Lily's gonna pop up the schedule and so we're going to be doing row by row along with Lori Holt. This is her pattern. It's called sew by row, and we're going to do one row a month. Week. Sorry. One row a week. <laughs> and I, I stitched a portion of this yesterday on Stitchy Talk, so you can refer to that. So I have my first row done. And your first row, you want it to be done by January 13th. So I'm gonna show you what I'm stitching and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what Lori's stitching. So I keep everything in my book because that way I can remember. I need to add Lori's name. I don't know why it just says it's so Emma. Sorry about that. I am stitching on 14 count Ada Shadow. This is a Lori Holt fabric. It is now sold out, but we will have more in March. It's a slightly light gray. This is the cover of the pattern. So I'm, I'm stitching on 14 count shadow. I'm using DMC. I put my DMC on the Beekeeper by Lori Holt and I use the DMC stickers. Now again, you can just buy a label maker and print them out, cut them down to the size you want. And when you have a label maker, you can get, you know, thick, thick tape or skinny tape or however you want. So I have that on my board. And this is the brand new Sew Day Enamel Needle Minder. 
and it goes with this because it's got the bundle, the iron, the tomato pin cushion. And so I'm gonna show you kind of what I've done and my thought process behind what I'm doing. So I really wanted to start 2021 out with a bang, basically. I wanted to have a lot done so that as I move forward in the year, I'm not stressed to get stuff done. And so I went ahead and had time and I just did the left column so that I, when I start each week, all I have to do is finish. Now my original plan was just to do a little bit. I was gonna do like one scissor, one tomato, half the machine, one star, one, you know, I just kinda got a little carried away. So by next week, if you're stitching along with us, just go ahead, have this done, and Lily has the hashtag. And so that's what I'm stitching on, and I've stitched 13 and a half hours so far. And I love the new enamel needle minder that goes with it. Now with the pattern, we have a DMC thread pack, which is what I'm using, and we have a Weeks Dye Works pack. What Lori is stitching on is she's going to stitch on a brand new cloth that is coming out at the end of this month. It's called 20 Count Cork Prairie. It's a new vintage cloth that's 20 count. She's going to stitch over one using a DMC thread. She talks about what she's going to be doing in her video that she released last Friday. And we will have that on our website as soon as we get the sample from Riley Blake so that you can see it and if you want to be notified when it comes in. And I've stitched about 13 and a half hours so far and very excited about it. And this is the cloth that Lori will be stitching on. Oh no, this is the cloth the sample was stitched on. So the sample is uh, behind me. You can see it. And the sample was stitched by Cheryl with DMC and the 20 count, no, 25 count cloud. So that is one thing that we're gonna be doing um, starting the new year off. And after we finish that sew along, we will also, we'll start another Lori Holt sew along. So we will throughout 2021 always have a Lori Holt sew along going. And um, let me know if you have any questions on that before I move to what um, else Denise and I have planned for 2021. Okay. From Susan Geisler, could you stitch the heart on the bag you are using for your project bag? Yes, I am gonna be stitching something on my bag, but it's not the heart. You'll have to wait till next week to see it. Ooh. Funny comment from Margaret Hagland, is Kimberly even herself if she doesn't get carried away? Oh, I know. It's That's really, great. I love it's it. It's over, over like the holidays. Kevin was like, you're going to kill yourself all this stuff you're doing. I was like, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'll, I'll live. And then he's like, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. That's funny. And then we had a tip from Ro Rosalind Parnell for the people who were wondering about bleeding with the threads. Rosalind said, if you put white vinegar in the water, you are washing your project and the floss will not bleed. Good tip from a Danish friend. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, and then I saw some people saying, oh, when can we know when there's a live stream coming up and that sort of thing. If you guys follow us on Instagram or Facebook, we post uh, every time we're about to have a live stream, both the day before and day of, so you guys can be aware and, and come and join us. on YouTube, and YouTube, in the top right, what you want to do is click on the bell. There's a bell, and when you click on that bell, it'll say all some or none mm -hmm. something like that just click all and that will notify you every time every we're time live. and if it doesn't notify you that just means that youtube is broke for that day yes. which oh. finds i mean or or you have to make sure in your phone settings you have notifications turned on for the youtube app there you go yes. and lily did that for me so i don't know how to do it lily knows how <laughs> and um yeah so if you have questions uh about that later if you're struggling with that feel free to leave it in the comments so for 2021, like we talked about, we're gonna start off with the Be Mine Stitch Along, which is February. And now we're gonna be, and like we just talked about, we're gonna always have a Lori Holt Sew Along. And now what I'm gonna show you is what I will be working on each month. And I'm so excited because I have packed my schedule. Ooh. So the very first thing that we're gonna work on is we are starting a 
sew along. It is called Monthly Markings. So I'm going to find it in my book real quick. So I'm going to kind of, I have a lot going on over here on my right. So I'm going to kind of talk you through what we're doing and hope I don't confuse you. So this is a set of 13 patterns each month, January through December, plus this pattern is the border. And I was really inspired by it. I liked that it was small. So we decided to make it our own. And we worked with Cecile on this. So this is gonna be a new monthly stitch along with monthly markings by Heart and Hand. We're gonna be hosting it. It's very similar to Parade of Homes where we broke, broke down um, the series over the year. Now what I'm gonna be stitching on is 14 count Venetian stone. And this is the bigger piece so that you can cut it down. What our sample was stitched on is 28 count Venetian stone. So I want you to see the difference in color. There is a slight difference. This is a little bit more gray. This is a little bit more brown. They're both by Witchell. So again, I'm gonna stitch on this one. Cheryl stitched the sample on this one, which I'm about to show you. And we put together a Kimberly pack. So we put together our own colorway. And you can use this. You can also use Cecile's original colors. So I'm gonna show you now the sample. So again, we have a thread pack. We have two fabrics. We have the pattern set. We also have the patterns individually. So now I'm gonna show you the sample. Sorry. We're also getting, we're also getting, or I'm also getting used to the new set. It's a little bit different because I'm going to the left instead of the right. So this is our sample that Cheryl made beautifully for us. And I'm gonna show you how my cloth is gonna look. To the naked eye, you're not gonna notice a difference. So the way that I am going to be tackling this project is, there's 12 months, so let me scoot it so you can see all 12. They're so cute. Lily's also going to be doing this, and yes. she's going to be showing it every week what she's doing. Yeah. I'm very excited. So the way that I'm going to break this up every month is on the first week of the, the first live stream of the month, I'm going to have the aqua border done. The second week of the live stream, I'm going to have the inside of the square done. The third week of the live stream, I'm going to do the border. The fourth week of the live stream, I'm going to show you in a little bit my plan. So every week has something planned. So this week, I have the aqua border done. So I've taken the piece of fabric, I've trimmed it down, and zigzagged the edges. By next week, I will have the snowman done. I'm going to show you on the thread pack what Denise did is this is what is included in the thread pack the week style works and Denise went ahead and put Cecile's colors here our colors here so that you know each month what color to use and this is how it looks so that each month, if you want to do it the way we did it and the way that Cheryl did it, everything is here. If you don't get the thread pack from us, you can find it on the blog. The blog is already posted. So this is our conversion for it. And again, this is, this is Cecile's and we're gonna show you hers actually. And I'm gonna be keeping mine in this bag So this is, this is the one that we came up with, and I'm gonna move it up here. This is the very original that Cecile made from Heart and Hand. It is Cecile's design. 
Cecile Turner used two strands over two and she used the original colors listed in the pattern which is a mix of Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts and her fabric is 32 count Belfast linen in the color Dirty. So you can see hers is more primitive and ours is more springy. Um, I wanted something that I thought would match my house a little bit and you can see that since this is 28 count and this is 32 count, her sample is smaller. So when we scoot it over, so right here I've got it even, when we scoot it over, you can see that ours is about two inches bigger or so. And you can see that the, the words that we did, we did it more in a yellow. She did hers in a brown. So we just thought this would be a good way for you to start off the year. You can stitch with us every month. You can do your, I encourage you to do your own colors or the original colors or our colors or Lily's colors or whatever. We just want to stitch along with you. And um, we just, I found this pattern. I thought it was super cute. And you can really see the difference in the colors. And we've made it very easy for you with the, with that listing. So I'm going to let you look at the left again just to see the colors. And of course, you could get our thread pack. And so if you don't like this, for example, you can change these colors. You could make your, you could switch some colors from this block to this block. You don't have to make it exactly like us. And we do have a hashtag. So Lily will pop up the hashtag. So that is my one thing that I'm going to be working on monthly. All right, question from Kathy Adams. What size fabric is needed for 14 count? What did you say? If you're using 14 count, how big does your fabric have to be? So it finishes at four by 28 on 14 counts. So I would say 10 by 36 or so. The, the fabric that we use is number 357-382. And we took it and we cut it down. So you can see how we cut it down. The leftover that's left from this, Denise is saving we will use all that leftover throughout the year similar to what we did last year with heart and hands two valentine pieces that i made last year that we will show again um one of the days in this in this month's live stream so that's skew numbers 357-382 and from kathy achenbach can you do this monthly marking could you do it in gray or another color that fabric is beautiful but it is close to my wall color you can do any color you could do tan you could do um lamb's wool you could do beautiful beige you can do any color that you would like um and that's what we were kind of doing was trying to figure out how it would match our house so i would recommend if you want to pick your own colors is to buy the pattern set and then kind of look through your stash first. That's what I always do. I have a stash of thread, a stash of fabric, and just kind of pull a couple of fabrics out, pull a couple of threads out, and then you'll see what direction you want to go. So what we did is we, to be honest, picked the, picked the thread, and the fabric that we ended up picking did not look good. So we changed the fabric to make it look good. So don't feel like if you've picked everything and you think it's great and you start and you're like, ooh, that's not right. Just start over, save that piece of fabric for something else. And from Sewing Becca, will her color still look good on your fabric choice? Yeah, I think so. From Pamela Bun Clark, will the pattern be available as a PDF? No. Okay. Gwen Smith is wondering where I'm going to be showing my progress here on live stream. Yeah, she's going to show her progress in our break that we do. Yeah. And from Princess P. Holly Martin, when you have a, to frog a lot of stitches, do you reuse the floss or start with fresh? Asking for a friend. Wink. Oh, I just throw out that floss and you can watch yesterday's video where I had to frog 
and I usually just get rid of that floss. I'll show you exact, I showed exactly what I do in yesterday's video. Uh, from Deborah Gallet, what 14 count Ada color would most closely match Cecile's fabric? We'll look real quick. I don't, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. And from Carolyn Ponce, will the prim and proper cross stitch pattern have a DMC thread pack created to go along with it? Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're sold out of it and um, we're not sure when we're gonna have more just because DMC was closed for a little bit. And from Mary Moore, what is a good Lori Holt 25 count color similar to the Venetian stone that would work for the heart and hand stitch? Prim or pebble. My next monthly is going to be the sampler of the month from Country Cottage Needleworks. So this is the pattern. It released last month. I'm going to be sewing each month. The first part of the first live stream of the month, I will have the top done. The second live stream of the month, I will have the middle, have the wrong pattern, sorry. Middle done. And the last live stream, no, the third live stream of the, of the month, I'll have the bottom done. So again, just like monthly markings where I'm breaking that into three parts, I'm breaking this up into three parts. So this is the first live stream of January, so I have the top done. When you come back next week, I will have the middle done. I am using the 14 count Beautiful Beige by Witchell that came in the club. 16 count, sorry, I couldn't hear. 16 count, sorry, not 14 count. Yeah, it does say 16 count, I just didn't read it. I'm using the called four colors. And what I've done is when you got your club, we wrote out how to cut the beautiful beige down. I've already cut it, surged it so that I can get to it. There's a lot of thread that comes with this. So I decided to throw in my bag the ones, one of each skein here. And in this bag, I put my extra skeins and I'm gonna leave it in this bag. And I kind of put everything in here. So that is my January. One thing I have not done that you're gonna notice when I show you the next piece, I save all of my back stitch for the end so my snowman doesn't have eyes yet. He will. So that's my January. And this is February that is now in stock. The pattern is in stock. So if you miss the club, you can just get the patterns each month. And Cheryl has finished hers. She was a mem she is a member of the club and she was part of the 32 count linen club, which is 32 count beautiful beige. The club is closed, but you can buy the patterns. And if you are in the club, the February shipment already went out. Now, there are frames that are from Family Tree Frame Company that perfectly fit this. We ordered 100. They have shipped 25. They will arrive this week. I do expect them to sell out right away. We do have 75 more on order and we will ask them when they think that will ship. So let me know if you have any questions on I'll put, actually, I want to put these next to each other real quick. Ooh. So, let's see. So you can see the difference in color. Same company fabric, it's just one's linen and one is Ada. And look, Cheryl, so see Cheryl, when she cut hers down, she cut hers down smaller. So you don't always have to, like when you have the border, if you want to have less, you can have less. If you want to have more, you can have more. You don't have to do it. You know, Cheryl's is going to look different than mine. Do whatever works best for um, kind of how you work in your house. So let me know what questions you have on any of that. That's our first part of the year. 
There's more to come in a second. Okay, from Lori Roth, I think she's asking about monthly markings. Will there be a DMC conversion? No. And from Jay Holder, handcrafted, any chance y'all could do a monthly club for the monthly markings? No, sorry. We just did a thread pack. So you can buy, we just went over the two fabrics. You can buy the fabric, you can buy the thread pack, and you can buy the pattern set. The reason we don't do kits is because in cross stitch, per se, some people like linen, some people like Ada, some people like bright, some people like, you know, dark or primitive or whatever. So we just do things in segments that you can buy the pieces of. So you can still get it all. It's just maybe two clicks on the website or three clicks on the website instead of one. And we had a super chat from Caroline Poblet Yonadis. Let me know if I pronounced that right. For six ninety nine Canadian dollar, and they said, "Hi from Toronto, Ontario. I love everything Fat Quarter Shop." Thank you, Thank you Caroline. And then we had another super chat from Valeria Bauer for nineteen ninety nine. Thank you so much, Valeria. Thank you, uh, Valeria. You should email me Lily at FatQuarterShop com. That's L I L L Y at FatQuarterShop com. Yes, I have a question I want to ask you through email. Yes. <laughs> from Val Earl, are you stitching snapshots? Yeah. So snapshots club is over here so um, that is actually our club feature for today and I'll go ahead and go over that we want to give you a heads up on this club our vendor is having significant shipping delays because DMC is closed right now so the club shipment is going to be late we're not going to bill you until we ship we're estimating it will ship middle to late January and we apologize uh, for the delays, but with um, DMC being closed, um, we ordered in time, the shipment just did not come complete. And, um, you know, you might notice several of the clubs might ship late throughout the year, but I did ship, I did stitch, I stitched this, and um, we have a video on how to frame it. So I stitched um, half of them, and Cheryl's going to stitch the other half. Or something like, yeah, June 6. Yeah, I did 6, she's going to do 6. From Pamela Patella, will you let the ones in the sampler club know when the frames come in? We can't because there's too many people in the club compared to how many we got. Now, if our full order came, that would be okay, but we just can't. Mm -hmm. um, I know people are going to be unhappy because it's going to sell out right away. And um, those are handmade frames, so I think that's why they take so long. You know, I think um, one person makes the frame, it's got that scroll on it, then they paint it. Um, but you know, we, we are, we have 75 more on order. Maybe we'll order more, but we just can't get them fast enough. Margaret Hagland's asking how much time does each section of serendipity take? I don't know, maybe an hour or two, maybe three. And that will be pushed back to March because, um, fabric delays so we like our cross stitch to go at the same time as the quilting so we're going to push that back a little bit but it shouldn't be very long and they're pretty skinny um, from timothy carpenter please what 14 count cloth would you recommend for glitter village lambswool doesn't show the white thread i actually don't know because i am in that dilemma and i'm going to talk about that actually in the next segment i'm going to be doing glitter village starting in October this year. I haven't picked my fabric or my thread or anything because I haven't found one that I'm happy enough with. And I did even go to a local needle workshop to try to, I actually went to two different ones to try to find fabric just to see if they had something that we didn't. And I haven't found the perfect fabric yet either. But I will be sharing that later in the year because that's part of my um, end of 2021 plans. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is my other goals for 2021. This is Kringles by Little House Needleworks. 
I'm stitching on 28 count light ash Lugana by Zweigart. My goal is to do a little part each month. So I started this in Mania or before Mania. This is how far I got and it was really intense stitching this. I'm going to be honest. This was intense. So I decided to give it a break for about six months. Now my goals are the last week of the live stream each week, I'm going to finish this. So the last week of January, I'm going to have this done. The last week of February, the last week of March, and the last week of April so that that will be done before Mania. And I'm leaving that fourth week for this and my next project. I'm using the called for colors and I'm using um, just whatever was called for by Diane, who is the designer of Little House Needleworks. So I'm excited that, um, that I'm gonna work on this and get this done. So this is one of my goals for this year. And then I am going to, when I finish it, I'm gonna frame it. I don't know how I'm gonna frame it yet. Oh, and I am gonna put my name Jolly here. Um, we just graphed that out and I know several of you have emailed me to ask if I could do it for you and I can't, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put that back in my bag. That it goes in. And the next item is also what I'm gonna do for the fourth week of every live stream. I'm gonna be working on Beautiful Beige, which is the same fabric used in the sampler of the month by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I am going to start Farmhouse Christmas. And I, this pattern is something that kind of got me more interested in getting back into cross stitch. And I started it back when this pattern came out a few years ago. And I just really didn't like what I had chosen. And so I'm restarting. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm doing this as one big piece. I'm converting some colors so they're right here. I'm keeping, I'm keeping bamboo the same. Now these threads are all from my stash and I'm gonna purchase more because you need more skeins of some of them. So if you see these skeins look skinny, it's because these are from my stash. So I'm keeping bamboo the same. For um, the black, I'm gonna use black coffee instead of black bird. And you can see that's messy because that's from my stash. For the red, I'm going to use licorice red instead of cherry cobbler. I'm keeping pebble beach the same. So that is not a change. Let me kind of do it this way instead. So bamboo, licorice red, black coffee, pebble beach. For the, uh, the bird's beak, I'm going to use gingerbread instead of DMC 435. And obviously I need to buy more because I have none left. <laughs> For the faces, I'm going to use perfect pie crust. She called for DMC 754, but I'm gonna use that since you can see that I combined a couple of skeins. I've got a lot of that. For the green, this was the one that took me the most time to pick. This is four leaf clover. So you can see these are all leftovers. It's about four skeins left over that I combined into one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how I save space in my... And then for roasted chestnut, I'm gonna use trail dust. So in summary, I'm gonna use bamboo, five skeins, black coffee, one skein, licorice red, two skeins, pebble beach, two skeins, trail dust, two skeins, four leaf clover, two skeins, gingerbread, one skein, and perfect pie crust, one skein. And I'm going to start this and on the last Friday of every month you will see this done. So you will see uh, this one done, 
the last week of January. And I've put it all in this bag. I have all my patterns in here. And um, these are extra skeins that I have. But you can see I don't have that many extra skeins. So I do need to purchase more. We are sold out of Licorice Red. So I'm waiting until that comes back in stock to finish purchasing all the threads that I need. And, I'm, and so this is going to be for the first nine weeks, nine months of the year. In, so this will be done in September. In October, I'm going to start Glitter Village. And I'm going to do the same thing. The last week of the month, I'm getting week and month confused today. I'm very sorry. The last week of October, I will have Village One done. And that's also a nine part series. And I am having a hard time finding a color of fabric that I'm happy with, but I will share just like I did with this. And Kevin was very helpful. He helped me pick um, and he was adamant on the green. And I was like, oh, I don't think that green will look good. So then I texted it to Lori and she picked the same green as Kevin. So I was like, okay, you won. So um, it did take me, I don't wanna admit how, how long it took me to pick those colors. I'm very picky and but everything in here was from leftovers throughout last year. And um, I have to finish buying the rest. Now, the last item that I have is this. This is going to be done in four parts this month. I made the fall version of this and I'm going to show you. This is Let's Talk Winter. So I did Let's Talk Fall. Sorry, Let's Talk Autumn. This is by Hands on Design, and she's going to be releasing four of these for the four seasons. I'm going to actually frame them in the same exact frame, use the same exact fabric, and I'm using called four colors. So let me find it in here. So I can show you everything that I've done and I don't mess up by not reading what is on my paper. So it is Let's Talk Winter by Hands on Design. And I'm using 14 count chalkboard black Witchell. We are out of it. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting and we're dying to get more. And I'm so sorry we're out because it's frustrating for me also because I use it all the time. That skew is 357-171A. I'm using her called for DMC. And this part took me three and a half hours. And I am going to work going down. So next week I will have more done the week after and then the week after. And then when she comes out with her next one, I will um, do all four of them. And I put these on Lori Holt's Floss Flowers with the DMC stickers, but like I said, if you buy a label maker, you can um, you can use that. And also, if you want your floss biddies to not have the tags that come with like classic color works, you could put on there CCW and the name. You can change with the label maker the font, the size, and you can make it look really cute on either these or the floss biddies. And we have three sets of floss biddies: the regular, the Christmas, and the Valentine, and the Halloween. We have four. I can't count. Ooh. And all of the bags today that you've seen are either made by me, Christy of Crosshatch Quilts, or Denise of Dot Dot Goose Designs. And Beverly McCullough. Who? Flamingo Toes. Flamingo Toes. That hasn't been shown, but yes. It's on the side. So let's answer questions. And then we have more. Is that a lot? Like, did I really start the year off with that much? I have big goals, guys. Ooh. Big goals, big dreams. Yes. Um, about the previous cross that you were showing right okay. before from Priscilla Martin, will you put a border around each pattern? Okay, let me pull that out because I have that information in the bag. Sorry. Yes, I'm going to show you that. So if you go to littlehouseneedleworks.com 
or whatever her website is, Little House Needleworks, and you go to, once you get there, go to Cross Stitch Designs first, and then the next page, you select Farmhouse Christmas, click on that, scroll down, and she has a thread usage chart, and at the bottom, it says border chart. It's called Complimentary Farmhouse Christmas Border. You print it out, and she doesn't have like the greens. Everything is just an X. So I need to stitch this, and then she shows you this white part is part of the pattern. So part of January, I'm gonna do the January chart, and I'm gonna do the border outside January. When I get to February, this is my hand, this is my chicken scratch. This is not in order, but when I get to Jan, sorry, February, I will do the February section and the border part. And then when I get to March, I will do my March section and then the border outside. I'm not gonna do the entire border at one time because that makes me nervous that I'm gonna get off a st stitch. So I'm gonna do it each time. And then the best month of all is gonna be month five because all I have to do is month five and no border. So hooray to month five. Ooh. I'm already ready for month five. And from Gail Steele, how big is your fabric for the farmhouse Christmas? I want to do put it all in here. So I am using 16 count beautiful beige witchell. The skew is 355-321. My finished stitched size should be 13 by 13. I'm actually using 16 count, sorry. 16 count, beautiful beige, 355-321. With that finished 209 by 209, I'm gonna finish it 13 by 13, and that skew that we sell online will be big enough. It's 355-321A. And you can see that I wrote my colors in here and I'm gonna keep track of each part so that my um, time tracker doesn't get too messy. From Wilma Evans, how big is Little Red Barn? The first pattern. The first pattern. All of the stitch counts within this are the same. This design measures 63 by 63 and so you would take 63 and divide it out. They use their sample on something else, so I don't wanna give you that number. So if you do 63 divided by 14, we'll see what that, or 16. 63 divided by, if you do 16 count, it's almost four inches. If you use 14 count, it would be four and a half inches. So four, four and a half inches. And I'm not gonna change any of the designs, so I'm gonna be forced to, to stitch chickens. But it's okay. It's different I won't cry. Chicken. From Kathy Adams, is serendipity still coming? Yes. yes. So that's coming in March. Everything is online for sale now. We've got two different thread packs. We have the fabric. The pattern will start releasing in March. And we have already raised $18,000 for Make-A-Wish. Super excited. <laughs> and um, I can't say who, the, but we have somebody that is donating... Um, $1,200 today. It is going to be an anonymous donor that is very close to Fat Quarter Shop and is very much a part of the success of Fat Quarter Shop. And she has asked to remain anonymous. And I'm not going to say any more or I will be giving away who it is. Wow. Thank you to that anonymous person. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to show you some of my finishes. Actually, I'm going to take a break. Lily's oh. going to show you monthly markings and she'll answer any questions you have uh, that are technical like YouTube questions please ask Lily she's happy to help you she's great at all of that Ooh. and I will be right back Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, this chair is comfy. I hadn't sat on this chair before. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lily, in case we haven't met uh, virtually through these live streams here. And as Kimberly said, I am going to be stitching along with the monthly markings this year. 
Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, so far, uh, Denise has helped me pick my fabric and I'm still thinking about my colors because I decided that I think I want to use, um, as the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch put it, fancy floss. I'm just not sure which fancy floss yet. And so I'm gonna try my hand at that. Um, I am excited uh, to try it out on something that's like very manageable. Uh, do you, can you cut to the top camera? Sunshine, so this right? is sunshine, yes. And so, well, here's this. I am going to be stitching on Breeze, uh, the vintage cloth by Lori Holt of Bee in my bonnet, 14 count. Um, and then this is the first one, January. Uh, the rest of my patterns are in here. And then this is my cross stitch uh, pattern binder, as you can see. Uh, I plan to eventually stitch this, but not at the moment. And they're all in here, but they're kind of uh, exposed, so I'm not going to flip through that. And I am going to be stitching them not all together in a giant row, how Kimberly is doing, uh, because this fabric isn't large enough to do it all in one row. And I also decided I want to stitch them individually and finish them individually. And then I'm going to try to see if I can find some sort of like calendar thing that I can put them on and then switch them out every month. So it's like the snowman will be January and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, if you want to cut back to the ones that's fancy. All of our cameras are named here. The, the one we're on right now is called Fancy. Uh, and I feel fancy being up here. Uh, are there any questions at the moment? Yes, from Patty. She said, hi, Lily. Was wondering why I get my YouTube notification for the live video five minutes after it starts. Okay. Sometimes so. I forget to tune in and hate missing the beginning. Gotcha. Okay. So that is, uh, as Kimberly said, more of a YouTube glitch. That's actually YouTube, the algorithm trying to guess when you're more likely to tune into our live stream. Uh, I have also noticed YouTube tends to vary if you receive all notifications when they will send you a notification about our live streams. I know because I get them on my phone, so it's really funny. We'll have started the live stream and five minutes later, my phone goes, that quarter shop is live. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm here. I know it. But on the other side, for you guys, my biggest recommendation is at that point to, um, you can, when we schedule our live streams, we always schedule them the day before on YouTube. You can actually go to the video the day before once it's up and it just says like, oh, starting in 12 hours or something like that. And it'll have an option at the bottom right that says set reminder. And if you use that, that'll remind you on time. Uh, also, we go live uh, for our floss tubes every Wednesday, right at 9 a.m. we start streaming. Um, there very little wiggle room take or give a minute um so if you're here right at nine you will be perfectly on track uh okay cool so thank you for having me i am excited to get to more stitching this year and i will let kimberly come back in do 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 intervention <laughs> thank you lily thank you Okay, so I want to show you some more things. We had just talked about what we're doing kind of at the beginning of the year and each month. I'm going to show you some future items that we're going to be doing this year. So this is the Serendipity Cross Stitch. This was stitched by Cheryl using DMC and Navy Witchell 14 Count Ada. This is our charity so we'll stitch along. We also have a quilt version of this. It will be starting in March. We raise, it's a completely free pattern that we raise money for Make-A-Wish, and we just ask that you give a donation that will work for you. We have suggested $15 for the entire pattern, and this was graciously finished by Priscilla of Stitching with the Housewives. And all of the information on how she framed it and what she framed it with will be on her blog. So that's, that's going to be March. The next item is going to be Prim and Proper, Cheryl stitched this, 25 count prim, and this is gonna start in March. It's gonna start basically right after Sew By Row. So this is gonna be a stitch along, and I'm gonna stitch along with you, and I have not decided yet what fabric that I'm gonna stitch on. I know that I'm gonna use the Aura Floss, and I um, have about three or four fabrics 
that are um, in my bag and I'm going to do a couple stitches and see. Lori finished this and so this is um, So this frame was purchased at Hobby Lobby and it is, she changed the paint color to Picket Fence, which is her Farm Girl Chalky Chicks paint. This is Prim Fabric Collection and this is the Jazzberry Jam Vintage Trim in the large size. And it is an eight by 10 wood wall frame from Hobby Lobby. And this sew along will go right after so by row so that we always have a Lori Holt stitch along going and we're also going to do this stitch along this is shine on it is from the Bonnie and Camille quilt B. Bonnie and Camille quilt I'm trying to think of the name Bonnie and Camille quilt B book that's where the cross stitch pattern can be found and we're going to be doing this in the spring as a stitch along and we will have dates for you later on that. And I have not decided what I'm going what color fabric I'm going to stitch on, but I am going to stitch with Cosmo and I am going to stitch on 18 count. I don't know what color and the reason why is um this sample was stitched on 25 count cloud and I need mine to be smaller because of where I'm putting it in my house. So you can look forward to this also. So let me know if you have questions on any of those three that um, I just showed you. All right. Okay. From Cheryl Coy, is the calendar with dates for the row by row sewing along available to print? For sew by row. Um, we're gonna look into that. We can put it, if it's not, we'll put it on the blog. Yes. Uh, while I wait for questions to roll in, people were asking if I'm going to be doing the border for monthly markings since I'm doing them individually. I want to find a way to incorporate it in because I really do like the border, um, but I won't be doing it as the giant border. Um, people are asking what shoes I'm wearing. They're Keds today. Rifle Paper Company Keds. And... Gail Steele said, can we get a January calendar, please? Since we have a February one. Sure. It will probably be tomorrow or the next day, but we can. It's, um, yeah, I guess I'm saying yes. I'm looking at, I'm not the one who does it, so we will try to get that done quick. It's just, it's not going to be today. I know that. From Just Quilty Stuff, what is the finishing fabric used for serendipity? It is... Spring Brook by Cory Yoder that will be coming in stock in February, March, and it is a Moda collection. Cory Yoder is a designer. It's not in stock yet. And the reason that it's finished with that is we, the quilt uses that fabric. So we kind of, we make our quilt and our cross stitch go together. And we do every year, we're going to do a quilt and a cross stitch to benefit Make-A-Wish so that we can raise more money. We're trying to hit 100000 this year. Uh, Princess P. Holly Martin said the Sew Byro schedule is on the blog to print. Yes. Thank you. And Carolyn Petrie said, is the Shine On available as a separate pattern or only in the book? Only in the book. Mm -hmm. House of Stitch and Stash says, will Fat Quarter Shop have the Cosmo threads? Yes. We might actually have those in stock. One of the... One of the Camille packs is in stock and one is out of stock. Let me look and see which one is. Let's see, it's called Shine On Sampler Cosmo Thread Pack. We're gonna see if it is, that one is in stock. Her other one is out of stock. Gabriel Fuentes says, how's Piggy? Oh, he's good, he's good. I've been buying him this like fancy dog food and they text me when they send it and I'm like can you email me I just think it's weird I'm like I don't because I don't pay attention to text messages if anybody knows me 
And I write weird text messages. Somebody said to me yesterday something. I was like, oh, that was good. She's like, that was like the weirdest response. I'm like, because I don't text. <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, so we have two stitched finishes this week. This is the first one. This is the Christmas Blocks Stitch Along by Pine Needle. I stitched on 14 count Ada. The color is Feed Sack. The fabric is by Lori Holt. If you do the entire thing, the stitch count is 87 by 87, and mine came out about six and a quarter inch square. It took me about 16 and a half hours to do all of this. And here are my colors. Should I say them all? Okay, I'm gonna say all my colors and then talk about the pattern. So I used B5200 for white. I used Gentle Arts Shutter Green, Classic Colorworks Black Coffee, Weak Style Works Blue Coat Red, Gentle Arts Baby Spinach, Weak Style Works Blackboard, DMC 676, Weak Style Works Marmalade, Classic Color Works Perfect Pie Crust, Weak Style Works Cocoa, Weak Style Works Blue Jeans, Weak Style Works Jaybird, Classic Color Works Ribbon Red, Weak Style Works Morris Blue, Classic Color Works Stepping Stones, and Weak Style Works Sand. And Denise has all those on the blog. Yay! So Ooh. I didn't have to read them. Now, on this, the reason that my colors are different is I pulled from my stash. I didn't want to buy anything, I already had the fabric. When Sandy Workman, Sandra Workman released this. I started that day. I didn't know about it in advance. And it was a free pattern throughout December 2020. Now it is a paid pattern. And you can buy that on our website. It is a PDF and um, you can make it for you. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this. I'm not sure if I'm going to frame it or send it to Priscilla. I haven't even thought about how I'm going to frame it. I also thought we could maybe do a finishing tutorial and put it into a pillow. It's just kind of big. So I haven't completely decided, I haven't set my, my mind on what I'm gonna do. So if you have great ideas, put it in the comments. I do read all of the comments. Lily reads all the comments. Ashley reads all the comments. Denise reads all the comments. We do care. So, and I, I like this one. It was really fun to just do different ones each day. It was really fun. And the last stitch finish we have is so amazing. You guys are going to die. Mm. And it was started on Christmas Eve by Cheryl. Oh! It's so pretty. It's oh called gosh. The Night Before Christmas by Prairie Schooler. We are now going to have all Prairie Schoolers in stock that are still in reprint at all times. She stitched this on 32 count mint splash Lugana from her stash and she used the call for DMC. So Prairie Schoolers are all done in DMC and it is amazing. Mm -hmm. So when she finishes it and frames it, we will um, show you how she finishes, finishes it. And we're gonna add a new segment called previous finishes. So our previous finish spotlight for today is behind me. Starlet Snowflake. It's Starlet Snowflake. That's an It's So Emma pattern. You can get it in PDF or paper. Priscilla finished it and the frame is 1799592 from Hobby Lobby. And I finished it in May of 2020 and it took me 22 hours. And I did use classic Color Works Bell Swath Silk. The colors I used are Orchid, Carnation, Rosebud, and Sister Scarlet. And I stitched on 25 count Cloud Lugana by Lori Holt. And that one is now available as a PDF. We have a comment from Ilsa Rojas. Can I bring an idea? Can we have a principal month for every month so we can be as organized as Kimberly? Sure, we'll do all of those at one time but we'll design them all at one time. And we do need to find a place we can put them where you can easily find them. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to figure that part out. Mm -hmm. okay. 
And um, I just have a couple of new things to show you. Not too many, but this one is the brand new Dottie bag. It is by Lori Holt. It's gigantic. So it's so cute. It says, Be in my bonnet co. And it's got her B on the other side. And I'm going to show you how big it is. This is meant, I'm going to show you exactly what it's meant for. Uh. So we'll put this here. And what it's meant for is to throw all your other bags in. Uh. So you can store just whatever in here. So I'm gonna put all my bags from today. And it will sit up. You can see it's sitting up all by itself. So ta-da. Whoa. Big dotty bag. Back to the bags. So look at that. Okay, look at it in the front camera. Ha! Huge. It looks amazing and it matches this. Yes, the mint. Is so the this mint is for bags. gonna be okay, so Lori holds mesh bags. We're gonna do these limited edition. So the first one was prim. When that sells out, it's gone. This one, when it sells out, it's gone. She's gonna be doing a mix of styles, designs, colors, and they're gonna be a one and done. And um, as one sells out, we'll add the next one and you can cross stitch on it. And it's called the Big Dotty Project Bag. So that's our new item for today. And it is six and a half by 16 by 18. And I'm happy, oh, and then the next new item we have was released this morning. And Lily's gonna show you a picture of it. It's called Rose Delivery PDF. It was released this morning. And it's by Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives. And um, they're going to have a couple of Friday releases in January. They're going to all be Valentine related. So I'm going to put some of those into my lineup for Be Mine. And then she has a second one that they released last Friday called Love. It's part of their What's in My Cup series. And so that one could be part of your Be Mine stitch along also if you're interested. So that's our new feature for today. That's what I have for a wrap up of 2021, the start of 2021. I have a lot of goals and um, we will be throughout the year, we're gonna be doing some different things. We're gonna be doing the same thing as last year. We're gonna do a May event. We're gonna do a March event. We're gonna do June, Jolly July. We're gonna do Christmas. We're gonna do Jolly July and Christmas in December. We're gonna be doing all kinds of things where we inspire you and we walk go ahead and do calendars for each month, even on the months that we're not doing um, an event. Mm -hmm. Heather Grin says, what is that bag made out of? Mesh. Is it plastic? Is it fabric? Is it? Do you want to touch it? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's plastic. Yeah. I think anyway. it's plastic vinyl. It's not, fabric. it's not fabric. It's, I don't know, Lily. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like the other one's kind of plastic. It's the same exact material that um, our Kingdom on the Go bags and the bag that I showed you, this brand new bag, are from. Look how they look good together. Watch. I like them to sit up. It's like a dog. It's like you say, sit. <laughs> Tell your dog, sit. Look, they sit. Does Piggy sit when you tell him to sit? If I have a treat in my hand, if I don't, then he doesn't. That's funny. He's not very behaved. Oh. Linda Frederick asks, can we see a close-up of the snowflake, please? Starlet snowflake behind you. Sure. Can we put it on top camera? Yeah, can you go to the other and I'll get up? I don't want to get up on... Okay, there. there. <laughs> I don't want people to see my butt. <laughs> Look at that. It's so pretty. And there's another version of this that you can see that is made with the DMC, and that is on the cover, and we've shown that in a previous live stream, and it was stitched by Cheryl. I had never used silk before when I did this, and I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to have the risk of buying 20 skeins, so since this only uses four threads, I just picked the four pinks and 
had them and I'm excited to take this home now because this is very winter themed. I actually, when I redecorate my house, I go straight from Christmas to the rest of the year. It's just aqua and pink in my house. I don't do winter, I don't do um, Valentine's Day, except I do like a little section in my kitchen that has some Valentine's stuff from Target, but it's just a little section. Like I don't redecorate my whole house, but this will be cute for winter and um, it's, I really like it because it's a mix. It's all, this reminds me of Fat Quarter Shop. It's quilting, it's simple, it's pink, it's very Fat Quarter Shop, it's cross-stitch, quilting, it's all, it's everything all combined. So guys, thanks for joining me for 2021. I've had a lot of fun today and I'll see you next week. Bye.